Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT. This is T Unit. She's got her Bailey shirt on. This is the Six Star Experiment. And Mutant Bailey's next. And uh, this week we did a little role reversal, and I'm picking the female, and I picked Bailey. And I said, T, get your, get your Bailey shirt on, because it's going down tonight. And um, we're going to see how she stacks up. I'm going to check the poster out. She is the blue finisher. 150% more damage at 15k. Put that on your Montez Ford, right? 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 She's got, look at all these links. Mutants link. That's what you like to see. Her six star move is the mutated running clothesline. Green. Uh, deal 114,000 damage to choose four to make into blast gems. We're going to check that out a little later. But we're going to first check an oldie but goodie move set here. We got the mutated multi arm Bailey to belly suplex. That's a mouthful. H R G yellow deal 107,000 damage two six to make into green. We got some double greens here. We got the mutated multi arm bar eight charge. Play seven sub gems. Do 25k damage for six turns. Remaining sub gems turn into X breaks. Then the mutated diving double axe handle eight charge. Deal 122k damage. Choose four of those X breaks to destroy. So we make green. We sub them. We destroy them. We recycle. We hit it again. We do it again and again. Yes. Uh, we got Koofy on here for the yellow move points. We got the best technician in the game for 50% green move damage. Uh, we got Bruno for another 50% and an extra green sub turn. So now we're doing 7 turns, 49k a turn. And we got Santa Hogan on there for an MP and some gem damage. Uh, on the title here, we got the all heart plate. So after we make 3 sub gems, we can increase our green and purple gem damage by 100%. And we're running Double Fury 2. I need that plate so bad. All Heart? Yeah, it's for Cali. I need it. I got one on my Cali. Must be nice. Well, all she wants for Christmas is an All Heart plate. All right, let's see what you got, Bailey. We got a six star Becky out here to go against. Becky, don't get wrecky. Um, that'll be enough to fill those. We could turn one sub if we just kind of stay away here. Until it cascades out. I know it's gonna. <laughs> oh, it did too. It's messing with me. Alright, so remember... We kind of want these gems to stick around. So we don't want to be super obvious with them. And I want them kind of on green and yellow too because... You know. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I didn't think about adding a trainer or coach to destroy more, but there's only three left anyway, so I guess that ain't gonna matter. I could choose four to destroy. We're only gonna get three of them here. I don't know if that's gonna cut it. Is that gonna recycle us? Oh, we got yellow filled, so we did something. 630 damage there. Not good. And use this again and again all we really need to do here that's all we really need to do right there How much damage is she putting out? I'm just doing that this time look at that look at that well the subs doing 50k for seven turns so 350k damage for the sub we haven't got a real good cascade afterwards here, but we've been recycling, rinse repeating, choose four X breaks to destroy. Like, look at that. That'll break that. That'll get that one and then there. So that's going to be decent. Oh, you could have got me something there. We hit about a milli. About a milli. About. This move sets, uh, it's not powerful. It's not super powerful. I would think instead of all hard, if we're using this, we're going to want to use, uh, like, heavy machination skill plate or something like that. I kind of like that bottom stagger there. I kind of like that. That kind of worked out. If they stay away from it, you could potentially break one of those and it would hit all of them. See if that stays. Oh, yeah. Okay. If that stays, then we can just do... 
choose four, but that would break that, would break that, would break that, would break that. I'll just choose the one and, and show it. Look at that. 583k. Uh, yeah. We're just trying to break some green gems here with that all heart and see what we get there. That was 1.2 million. That was the best we've done there, just choosing green gems. But we're consistently in the lead in this match. So, um, I mean, is anything really hurt here? No. We're doing okay. Is she fast? No. Is this consistent? Yeah. I think the real key is going to come in when we put the Titan plate on and we use the Blast Gems. I think we're going to be able to do some real damage. Anybody that can uh, create a bunch of Blast Gems, that Titan plate, you're good to go. Good to go. And about a milli again. <laughs> about a milli. And now we're in trouble. Now we finally got caught. Nothing charged. What are we going to do? We need two turns out of this, too. Oh, boy. So, yeah, I think a heavy machinations. Uh, one, it's like break green, get yellow, something like that. What up, Smart Rain? Or break yellow, get green. I don't know. You'd want just some skill plate that was going to get you some green or yellow back. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> now we can get back on the attack here. Okay. We'll just do that. Boom. Stop! Run! Unbelievable. I didn't know it. It's just my luck, though. Good thing this Becky ain't on nothing. I think uh, what I've been doing here has been working, so I'm going to don't fix it if it ain't broke. I'm going to go with that little bottom stagger there. Oh, you got to mess it all up on me, too. Great. <laughs> it's still going to work out. It's still going to work out. We're good. Not for long. Okay, that's hitting that one. That's about all we can do. He's got one. Yeah, well, he'll have that. Oh, straight out, too. <laughs> and we didn't get enough gems to fill again. So, uh, definitely all heart was not the play here. We can get that out of the way. If I would have known, I thought for sure like it would give like some decent damage, but we're not really doing. Was she a chase character or what was she? Uh, like a weekend a contest boss. superstar. Yeah, okay. No, she would predate faction boss. This is when we did WWE mutants, uh, mutant Cesaro. Uh, who was the free mutant? I don't remember. Cena? Well, that was Masters of the Universe, Cena. Was there a mutant oh, Cena, too? Oh, it was. Okay. It all blends together. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of years of playing. Hey, we got a big win. We got a big win. We're going to get out here. We're going to get another move set. Don't go anywhere. We're back with another build. We swapped out the green move that destroys the X-Breaks, and we added the mutated running clothesline. Deal 114,000 damage. Choose four to make into Blast Gems. Anybody that can baseline make four, you can then use JBL to get three more, or Rusev, and then Rey Mysterio to get a fourth one. Now we can choose eight. Now we can put the Heroic Titan Crest on uh, skill plate. That's going to really boost some gem damage here. So we're sticking with Kofi for the yellow MP. We're sticking with Bruno to buff the sub. But we got our Blast Gem squad out here. And we got the Heroic Titans Crest out here. So we're going to 200% increase on all of our gem damage for two turns every time we make eight blasts. So let's try this one again. 
I'm feeling like if if Bailey's gonna put out the big damage, this is gonna be where it is. I'm feeling like this would be where it is. What do we need? Four? Okay. With perks, we should only need one match then. All right, choose eight to make into blasters. Wait, hold on. Is she charged? Yeah, four out of five. So the smart play here would be to do the sub first. Because that'll wipe her move points, and then we'll have some X breaks to go along with our blast gems here. So it'll be helpful. Of course, of course, she would get up and get a green match. Unbelievable. <laughs> Tired of the disrespect. That sub didn't really do a lot of damage either. Well, the sub's not really, we're not really counting on the sub to do a lot of damage in this build. Just older meta. Alright, here we go. What do we got? That should be Titan Chest. Let's see. Titan Crest. Titan Chest. Uh, all full. 2.6 million. That's not a bad bop. 2.6 ain't a bad bop. That was a little better. Now, remember this turn. Well, if she doesn't pin me here, because that's one turn that that boost lasted. Now, this is the second turn, but if I hit him again, it'll stack. So now I can get 400% gem boost this turn. Okay. If I hit the sub again here... That's going to count as that turn. Yeah, don't do that. So we don't want to do that. We're going to do this. We want to see all her potential. Yeah, buddy. Get rid of them power gems. Yeah, it should be all right. So what I can also do here is just use the yellow move to uh, choose into this, too. Which is like that row break. Look at that. Row break, boom. That's going to hit that. It's going to blow up all the rest of that. And I'm just going to put those there and just get some more green gems out. BOP! Three million. Okay. This is, this is better. Hitting a little harder. And uh, now she's charged. We're going to go ahead and hit that sub again. We're going to go ahead and hit that sub. And then we'll start it up again. So two to three million a turn. That's more doable. I feel like Mutant Bailey... Maybe she's not the best. Maybe she's not banging with the top dogs, but uh, she could still win some matches for you at six star, for certainly. As you say, she's hanging and banging. Hanging and banging. <laughs> Where's my boy Dirty at? <laughs> he used to love it when I said yeah. that. Ouch! Three point eight million. That was the stack of Ruski right there. That was the big one. Listen, 3.8 million is no slouch right there. That was a big shot. Be proud of yourself. I would have given myself eight thumbs up if I had all those arms right there. Oh my god. Okay. We are back with the final build I'm going to run here. We're going to go triple red. This was chat's choice. And uh, so we got the mutated Spinebuster 9 charge. We're going to deal 120k damage and choose two reds to modify into Snowfall, which will modify all gems below it into X-Break when broken by me. We got the mutated running clothesline 7 charge red, deal 117,000 damage, choose one row to destroy. And then we got the mutated multi-smash 10 charge red, deal 133,000 damage, choose two columns to destroy and pin the opponent. So in a perfect world... We can blow up the whole board with this. So we're running Sting. You could run Butch there. We need red MP. Batista here will give you an extra red MP and 50% red move damage if you've got him over 9k. Santa Hogan for another MP. 2200 more damage. And then we got uh, Bret Hart here for red finishers doing 30% more damage. We got Fury 1, Fury 2 combo with 133% on the red move damage. NWO plate. Whenever we break 6 or more red gems, increase our red move damage. By 75% for two turns. So we're trying to beef up that move damage here. Hopefully the board cooperates with us on this. Hopefully the board cooperates with us on this. If you give me two red gems in that top row here, we are golden. We only got one. We only got one. So we're still going to do that. We'll choose this row to destroy. And 
And uh, this is 390k plus whatever we get out of this. Now, if we break six here, remember, we will uh, activate the NWO plate for the next turn. So we're doing a milli on that. Now, we'd need her to not pin us so we don't lose turns on our bonus damage. I really needed that finisher to be full again, too. So we're going to do that. Look at that. We're doing 398,000 for this move here. The NWO plate really buffing out our move damage. Then finisher still says 390. I think that's going to be more though, right? Yeah, 620k with the NWO plate. I'm just going to do that. Those will blow up the other X breaks. Boom! Uh, just over a mil again. 1.5 there. But we could be double stacked here now. We should be double stacked now. We should be doing massive move damage at this point. That says 398. That's 613,000. And then we're going to hit the finisher here. What's this hitting for? 617. And boom, blowing up the board again, 1.2. Not bad, not bad. Easily defeated a red MP stealer would mess your world up. Um, I mean, 1.2 million at six star, that's not tremendous damage. And you kind of need a lot to go in your favor for this to work. So I'm not a real big fan of this moveset, to be honest. I'm not a real big fan of it. Oh, man. That really didn't go our way. There we go. At least we filled it all back up. Should be able to put her away on the next turn, I would hope. And we got lucky again. It's nice to see two red gems in that top row. When you're working Snowfall, you kind of really need red gems up top for this to be most effective. And both in the same row allows that to uh, unleash everything. And the finisher here, 517 plus, so. That ought to do it. So that's where we're going to leave you with Mutant Bailey. Uh, yeah, she ain't kicking out of that. Wasn't terrible. The, the Titan plate with the Blast Gem build, that's going to be your best bet. There might be some variation uh, if I spent a week playing matches with her and trying things out. Maybe I'd uh, get a little more. But in one night, that's what we got. So you know what? At six star, she's all right. I think Beth Phoenix might be a little better, though. Not going to lie. I think Beth might be a little better. But, hey, she can get the job done. And uh, we'll leave you with that. Till next time, y'all. <laughs>